Good morning, Mikey. Brandon. Hello. Real friend from across the bridge. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay, boy. Beautiful day, innit? Cracking day, lovely. Oh, you the crisp, weather with you. Chris you never have day. weather like this in Wales. <laughs> Very rare. Three days a week, I reckon. Lovely. Where are we then? What are we doing? White Springs near South, uh, near South Wales. In Swansea, near South Wales. Yeah. Um, we've got to try and catch a few silverfish. We're over on the Pleasure Lake. It's mm. full of eyed quality roads, big skimmers, an odd perch, but it has been frozen, so yeah. it's melted now. It might not be mega, but we still might catch a few. So yeah, I'm just going to knock up a bit of ground bait now. Yeah, what's the choice? I've just got the Sweet Marine and Crushed Expander. Expander. Only because like, Crushed Expander is probably one of the best baits for skimmers. Mm -hmm. On Sweet Marine, I use up the reservoir for natural fishing, catch all the skimmers and reuse it on commercials, which is a big confidence thing, I think, ground bait today, yeah. whatever you like. And I've just, I've potched around with loads of different ground baits, combinations, and I've just come back to this. So I'm just, I'm just confident in it. I know when That's I put it, it in, I'm going to catch some fish over it. Got to be confident in the mix. You've got to be, yeah, yeah. You want to put something in and think, oh, was that because I changed my mix? Mm. And it's no good for you, is it? So. No. Go on, talk us through mixing it. So what, what, what do you do? Right, I'm going to, I've got a couple of unit boxes, but there. Yeah. One's got water, one's in. So I'll measure out two pints of this. Yeah, it's a sweet marine. Yeah. Just so you can like go, you know, gauge your mixes and you can go back and think, oh, that, that mix nicely, use that quantity. You can use it, you can go back to another venue and use the same sort of yeah. mix, can't you? Yeah, you know exactly, not, it's no good just tipping it in in a bag. No. And you're like, oh, how much is in there? And how much <laughs> crush did I put on top of it, so. Just so you know, every time you go fishing, you're fishing with the same mix, yeah. right, isn't it? So we've got two of them. Yeah, one of them, two of them. In. And then yeah. the crush then. How many of these are you putting in? Just going to go one of these. Yeah. Because there's like ground pellet and all bits and pieces in that sweet marine anyway. Lovely. So, so what do you pop that in? Yeah. And mix that so together, mix right? that dry now. So it's goes like a nice, like nice brown sort of a colour. Not too dark, not light, just like a happy medium. Oh. Cover your options now. Exactly. And, and then, because I've used that mix so much, I just know three pints of dry. Yeah. And then just one of water, straight in. A three to one? Yeah, straight in. Make it a little bit soupy now. Mm -hmm. I'll give it 20 minutes. And it'll be just right. Yeah, we pop it through a riddle and it'll be beautiful then. And then it's mixed perfectly then to fish with. But then just have a little bit of water in your side tray. Just to flick a bit through the day, you can change your consistency and that. Yeah. So you can do a little bit of everything with it. But that's like a perfect, like, starting off point. Lovely. Right. So, should we pop a little bit in and Let's see if we can winkle a fish or two out? Let's give it a go. Come on then, Mike. Talk us through how you're going to feed your pig today then. Right, boy. I think we're going to start off on the back foot. Um, you'll be amazed how little you can feed on these kind of lakes. Yeah. And catch a bag of fish. So, because it's been it's been frozen, it's been cold, I don't expect it to be good. Yeah. I'm literally going to get like a handful of ground bits. Yes. Yeah. Since we've, we've put that through a riddle since we mixed it. Mm -hmm. A little bit more in with that. We get a few pinkies, dead ones. Yeah. Why dead pinkies? Well, they'll just sit in inert on the bottom for us, mm -hmm. so they won't wriggle into the silt, and that there'll be something there on the bottom. And we can always feed a few lies if you want to, just over the top. Yeah. So mix them like that, and then I've got a little bit of water there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to because we're not going to feed a lot. Yeah. I'm going to stodge it up a bit. Okay. Skip, uh, for some reason, when you mix it everywhere I've gone, wherever you mix your grown bit, a little bit stodgy. Yeah. Skimmer seem to love that. I don't okay. know why. It used to both was always the same when he used to feed it worms and ground bits. Mm -hmm. Just like really just uh, over in it sort of thing. Yeah, just so it's like a bit of a stodge. See oh, it? Yeah. yeah, I see it. So what we'll do, we'll feed a ball like that to start. You know, it's not a lot. It's like I a know, ping, ping pong size yeah, thing, isn't it? I know it's not a lot, but we do want to blow up egg before we start. Yeah. Where's that going? Is that going on? So you're having, how many lines are you having? I'm going to have two and I'm going to feed them both the same. Okay. A lot of the time I'd feed a positive line, but I just don't think it's going to kick off no. as good as that today. So just pop that in, and then with our dryer stuff, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of dry. Okay, what's so that? So that'll go down, and we'll have a nice little column of bits and pieces falling through. Try and pull an odd fish in, and then we can always loose feed a few pinkies over it. Ah, lovely. So, I reckon, should we get it in? Let's get him in then. Let's so, get it in. Let's get him in, let him settle down a bit. Let's get cracking. If there's a fish there, Look, we're always going to catch it on a pinky, on you? Exactly. This time of year, especially. Two pinkies, two flu rows, look. It's good hook bait, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that'd be a great hook bait for skimmers. Just like through the, both through the thin end there. Yeah, that's it, lovely. Norma, they are alive, believe it or not. They're <laughs> so cold, there's no life in them. They've got dormant. They've got dormant. Lovely, right. Shit this out. I want to see you hook your first fish of the day. Let's zoom in for the, for the folks at home. That wind will just stay off. No, it's not not nice, is it? It's gonna lower that right in over the top of that. 
Lovely. Little ball we put in. So straight up. Bumped it straight down, didn't you? Yeah. I know. I know you. You're like you're a big fan of like the the Z pattern sort of thing, isn't you? Like how you lay it in, like you laying your rig to the side yeah. and bringing it back over itself, sort of thing. It's just to get it down there that bit quicker. You're not, mm. not going to. You're not fishing from off the bottom. Yeah. So. Is that a little bite then. Oh, it's a job to see that wind. That's what's so dark it mm. Yeah, it's not very nice this wind, is it? No, no. It's beautiful when it's calm. It's a lovely dark water there. Zoom in just a little bit in there. Just see it on the edge of that white water. Yeah, yeah. You don't mind that? Put up with that. Yeah, it's better. We could put up with that, can't we? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. No matter if. Oh, oh my word, that was a cracking did, strike. Do you see that little, that little flicker of a bite though? It's a tiny, tiny you bite, isn't it? You never see them unless you've got your throat starting like that. Looks a good fish. Look at that. that was, I can't believe that. You, that was a proper strike. Yeah, you've got to strike them. Neil fishing like last sticks, man. Oh, I love it. I can go watch your nets it. Get over here. Yeah. This looks a good fish, this. Yeah, it'd be a nice fish. There's loads of quality fish in here. There's loads of quality. Oh, yeah. You said there was one there. Yeah, yeah. You knew it. Just knew it. Here we are. Oh. This is the start. We're off. Off the mark. Let's have a quick look. It's the bread and butter, isn't it? This time oh, of year. my word. Just nicked. Look, just, just about nicked. What do you think of that, Brandon? Super. Nice little start, isn't it? Cracking start. Pop them in the net? Come on, then. Pop them in the net. Let's crack on it. Catch a few more, then. What's that doing in your hand, Mike? Got the old sling out, didn't I? Got the sling? Huh? What's that for? Well, I'm trying to provoke a few bites, as they say. <laughs> just this time of the year, and it was cold, the water's clear. Yeah. I just think something dropping through the water will help just pull a few fish in. Mm -hmm. And I'm not too worried about them being tight and over a little bit of an area. Get some yeah. fish in your area. I just think loose feeding this time of the year for skim well, silverfish in general. It's a brilliant way of catching them. Lovely. So you're picking a few pinkies? Yeah, eight to ten pinkies. Lovely. We're fishing 14 metres, but I'm sure we'll get them there. Eh? Have a look. Flick them there, look. See oh, that not a bad attempt, is it? And the nice thing with that is you've got them over an area, mm -hmm. so you can always just pop a dolly butt on this. Ship past. Ship past. Yeah. Oh, indication then. Hang on, boys. Hang on. And you'll catch a lot of fish off the back of your feed that are just hanging off on that loose feed. Yeah. Bad indication. Oh, who's that lift then? Oh, what is that lift? You see that lift? I've seen it. So there you are, that just shows, look, how quick a response. Just picking a cat to build up. Rather than tip. just sitting there, thinking, oh, they're just going to catch them on ground, but mm. they love loose feed. I've got to bring them in, folks. Get the cat put out. So this is the, the original cat put, isn't it? Yeah. That's, is that the lightest one? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Just just lovely, that is. Just, like, small pellets, maggots, mm. casters, pinkies. Notice, a, notice with that one as well, you've got your the pins set. Right at the end. Yeah. Why is that? Well, Paul Holland told me to do it. Aye, if he tells you to do it, then it's got to be a good thing, isn't I it? I think it just groups them nicely like that. Mm. You haven't got so much elastic to pull back either. No. You know, it's all quite compact. And it just flicks them up there, lovely. You can just sort of lob them out. Yeah. You don't want to pull the elastic back too far because they'll just spray everywhere then. Go all over the place. So yeah. You, you just like adjust it to yourself, just find out what's right for you. Yeah, yeah. But that that is a. That's, I know. I think Paul takes even a little bit more elastic off that. Yeah. But for me, but that, that'll do me. I mean, back, to, back to the base and we're away. Lovely. What's the plan now, Mike? What's this doing in your hand? Well, we've caught an odd fish or two. Yeah. Bites have like slowly peaked out and we've missed an odd bite, so I think it's time to top up. Yeah. Are you going to so, top up then? Literally with nothing. Like, what's that, a marble? Just of that original mix we put in. Yeah, with a few pinkies in it. Just an odd dead pinky in there. Yeah. It's dodgy again. And I think that's all it'll take to bring an odd fish back in. Really? It's yeah. so, yeah. such a small bit yeah. of bait, that. You'd be surprised if you don't have to feed anything. Hmm. So what yeah. you put it in? So is this going on your, which line is this going on? Your left, your ne which line is this one going on? Your left hand? Left hand line, yeah. Yeah. So you said you fed, you fed on the same. This is the one that you've been fishing originally. Yeah. You just say, it's just it's kind of a bit funny. I think sometimes, like on these nicks, if you feed too much, you just literally don't catch, you can't catch them. Mm. And I don't know why it is, when you put like a big volume of feed in, they're really hard to catch. I yeah. think they're easy to catch with over little bits of bait, especially like hand taste you know? Yeah. They're, they're, they're notorious. They're, they're notorious for being a pain in the moment they oh, to yeah. catch. Like we've got it today, haven't we? Yeah. Like a little dink. You think, oh, there's one strike, nothing there. Have a lift, nothing there. Then you'll catch one. You think I've got it now, and it'll mm. go back to the same. So we'll just let that settle. We'll probably drop on our other line now. Give that five or six minutes, and then back in on it. Clonk. Yeah. Yeah. As man. easy as that. Top up for what to treat, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, that's worked. And 
what I've done, because we were having a, an odd indication on them lifts we were having and missing them. Yeah. I've just put like a bit more of a strung out rig on. Okay. Like a bit of a reverse taper. What I've been speeding if they weren't dropped on in now and literally bowing straight away. Oh, so look, 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 look at that. It's really freezing cold off here. <laughs> but it just shows two different rigs mm -hmm. on that same line. Lovely. Nice and neat for the winter. Perfect. Because you need to, you need different rigs, don't you? You need to yeah. try your things in the, in the winds, don't you? These well, sort of things are the things that can win your matches, isn't it? Well, when you're loose feeding and that, obviously those fish are coming up off the bottom, and they, and they, to be honest, they want to be off the bottom anyway. Yeah. Like this time of year, the quality fish are just up off the bottom. So on our rig, you can just get that bit more of like drop time on it, yeah. just to catch one's eye. And, you know, you're not really catching them on the drop, you're catching them on the bottom, but they're seeing the hook bait and going down for it rather than just bombing past them with a bucket or droppers. It looks a lot more natural, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like where you look feeding a few, and then you lift it out and you can flick it past your feed. It's a great little rig for that. No, for when it's hard, like at the minute, it's still quite hard, isn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, it's but, not easy. But when they do turn up, for that wrong bit, you can just pick your bulk or two up then and, you know, clatter them a, bit, a little bit more. But that's just a nice little faffing rig, just to tick over until it gets good. Lovely. What, what float is it using, quickly? Just before you sit down, let's have a quick look at your float you're using. <laughs> Just got a slim the left one carbon. Yeah. Just get focused quickly so you can see it, folks. Lovely. Two little box shots above it, just to keep it all tight. You got a bit of grease on that bristle. Yeah, can I see? just well, it's not dotted down that much. Yeah. But even that, then, now that floor just flickered hardly. Well, it didn't even go under. Just it just looked like it was very struck. It shimmered. It just shimmered. <laughs> <laughs> that strung rig starting to work yeah, now, Mike. Yeah, where I'm going on that. Anyway. We're just flicking a few pinkies over the top of it. Yeah. Amazing the difference just a change of rig can make, can't it? You it's have crazy. The on their other rig. Is that all you like your hook lengths? Is, imagine all your hook lengths and stuff the same, isn't it? All your everything's, hook is... everything's exactly the same. The main, like the diameter of the lines and all that. Oh, that's your bread and butter this time of the year. Little weight builders, them, aren't they? Lovely, lovely little, little fish. Pinky stuck in the corner over there, look. <sighs> right in the scissors. Yes. <laughs> lovely. lovely. It shows that, yeah, literally just a different type of presentation. Yeah, I don't know if you'd be able to pick that up on, on there, would you? Have a look. It's just like a six inch hook length there. Yeah, I can see it. And then these are tens, these, because it's quite deep. I don't want to, the levers will be too light. They'll never, they won't register quick enough, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. it's quite deep. I've gone for tens. So, I've got one just on, on the loop there. I and then, it. as you can see, as you go up the rig, they just get further and further. They, get, they don't get further apart, they get closer together. Yeah. Slowly. So, they're wider, getting smaller, 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 and then it just goes into a, like a little tiny little bulk. Tiny little bulk. Just got a little trimmer above it then. <sighs> Lovely. Yeah, it's nice that. Just a nice little rig. Courtesy of my old buddy Lee Edwards, that one. Ah, oh, cheers, Lee. Yeah, well done, Lee. <laughs> You've done it. <laughs> <laughs> so the hook's tied here, Mike. What's Here's a few now? hooks. Well, the fishing's gone quite good now, haven't it? Yeah. But there's loads of like little indications and the bites are hard to pick up on. Mm. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a four inch hook lift on rather than a six. Okay, what is that? Because I just want that last shot closer to the hook. Yeah. And that'll just help us like magnify the bites. Because there's some fish in the peg and you're having tiny little indications and you're not sure what to strike at. Yeah. So I'm hoping if I can just get that last shot closer to the hook, it'll just give me a more positive indication. I like it. So just like speed everything up a little bit as well. We won't be like looking at the floor thinking, should I strike at that? Hmm. What hook then is it you're choosing quickly while we, before you, while you should put that on? Just the same as last time. Just, yeah. We're just four inch this time. Oh, 18 F on pellets. Lovely. So we'll just slide them on. So yeah, I don't know my fingers are cold, I reckon we'll get it on for this time. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot oh, now, will not I? Look at that. Oh my oh, word. If you don't mind, umpire. I should be on a TV show. <laughs> so. Cool then. So you, now you've got, you've got to change it up now, haven't you? Well, yeah. That's where the good thing is I've got my tapes. Yes. So obviously, the float is all further down now, so I just need to push it up so I'm just that body over depth. That's Lovely. why I've got my tapes there. Always refer back to it. Don't have to replumb your peg up every time. Lovely. That's that's the use of pole tape, isn't it? Beautiful. You can't hide these things from me, Mikey. No, I try to sneak that in, didn't I? Yeah. Even that small one like that, look. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. What are you doing with this one, then? Uh, what we've noticed, and we know when we're talking up the ground bait, yeah. you get like a really quick response after it before it peters out. Okay. So I'm just thinking, I've, I've done it on you in the past, again, with our like, little stodgy mix. Mm -hmm. I've just literally like, hardly nothing. Look at that. Like that, look. That there might not even be an odd pinky in that. Not even, not, it's literally, it's the size of a pinky, isn't it? That yeah. little bottle, isn't it? So like that. Because the bites are coming so quick, I can just plop that in and lay my rig over it. I won't yeah. use it every every chuck. Yeah. But sort of every two or three fish, 
unless you've got that you don't want to be in and out that big pot it's just more efficient just to have our little pot on lovely that, is that the small one is That's it the, the extra small that extra one. small yeah teeny yeah. weeny well, one it'll stop you from overfeeding it you can only put a, sm a bowl the size of your thumbnail in there yeah so you're going to be using the same size one every time oh lovely just a nice little trick there on you i get a lot big fan go then get it in catch some mosquitoes let's have a look at eh? is this going to be another big roach Is it another big red bike? It could be. I think it is. Is that a finer sight than seeing six elastic peeling all over the peg? <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh my <laughs> lord, I got that camera! It's got on the crewy! A crewy? I didn't even know there was crewies in here. How is that for a box? I was oh, just getting the cutaway and I didn't realise that was going to pop up. Oh, it's a superb bar of gold, that isn't it? Look at that. Just absolutely phenomenal. We're having a row now, aren't we? Oh, it's all going our way. Go on then, Mike. Talk us through your rigs. Okay, boy. Nice and simple. Both of them are very simple. Yeah. I've just got a Fours Elastic on this one. Lovely. 013 end gauge mainline. Why 013? Just so it's nice, nicely balanced to your hook lens. Like, I'll be fishing probably 07 to 09 hook lens. Yeah. If I had 015 on, it looks so thick. The mainline looks so thick compared to the hook lens. Mm. I just don't like it. So, 013 is like a nice middle ground. Still nice and durable. Not going to break the mainline. Yeah. But it doesn't look horrendous when you loop to loop it do you know what i mean yeah yeah it looks it looks odd doesn't it yeah yeah i just don't like it like that especially if i'm fishing like a four inch hook length to have like oh 15 mainline four inches on the hook i just don't like that so i go for oh 13. lovely just got two number nine micro cubes there nice just how come you spread spread them out like that it just helps that keep that line a little bit tighter as well yeah so everything and I, if i want to i can still sink them or i can hold on to them mm -hmm. so just versatility really love it down to a little, well, a little a 4 by 60 prototype float. Yes. Nice wire stem, mm -hmm. round body. You know, stability fishing you're looking for with this. You're going to be fishing through the water, like we'll see with the shot in pattern now. Yeah. Nice visible bristle, especially this time of year now. It's so hard to see your, your bristle sometimes with the, with the sun. We've had it today and we, yeah. when there's a ripple on it, it's so hard to see them. So we can see that nicely. Lovely. That's a 4 by 16 is that. Then we slide down then. Slide right down to your shot Nice. Bulk of nines there, look. Yeah, I can see them. And then I've got like a little kicker if you want, just to keep it away. Okay, so like to kick your kick your hook length away, so yeah, of just to keep all this line up underneath here, just so it keeps it away from the bulk, so it don't wrap over. Yeah, lovely. Then just two positive droppers there, nines again. Okay, why nines? It just helps show a bite a lot better. Lovely. And I'm not going to be worried about catching fish through the water on this rig. This is for like holding over your bait. Yeah. If you're waiting for bites. So I'm not worried about the droppers. I'd rather have too positive a dropper than like little 11s and they don't even do anything to your rig. Does it register no, you by sort of thing? So I'd rather go more positive. Okay. Six inch hook length. Yeah. Oh nine. Engage Pro. Engage Pro, that one. Lovely. And then we've got an and 18 F1 An 18 Pelt. F1 Pelt. They're an awesome hook there. To be honest, I used to tie up a bit of everything, but this time of year now, I just tie them up mm. on a couple of different th diameters of hook length. A great hook, isn't they? Oh, just, they're just so reliable. No one like when you hook in bonus fish that make a difference. Yeah. They very, very rarely come out, whether it's a big perch or big bream. And if you want to catch numbers of fish, they're brilliant because they stay sharp. Coats with them easily, didn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Talk, so about, talk, talk us for your other rig quickly, yeah. whilst, whilst this, we're still here. This has been our little farfin rig. Yeah. This has been the one? This has been really good, this one, is not it? So, all 13 mainline again there. Yeah. What elastic have you been using? I've got a six in that one, just because we've been catching well and been looking to swing them in, just to speed it all up a little bit. Yeah. Lovely. <clears throat> so, again... Two back two, shots? Yeah. Spaced apart. Lovely. This time we've gone for a slimmer float for fishing through the water with a carbon stem. Yeah. At 0.45. Why 0.45? Because it's it's almost six foot deep there. Yeah. You want so to get it down I, sort of thing. Well, I don't want to be waiting all day for it to... I know a nice slow fall looks brilliant and that, but yeah. it's not good if you sit in there all day waiting for it to, <laughs> to trim up. Really. So you want to get it down. Yeah. Lovely. So we just go down and then probably like just below halfway, I've got sort of my little ta tapered bulk there yeah and then the shots will just get further and further apart as i get to the hook okay so like as you yeah. can see there now if i slide that down you can see them see them shots just getting further and further away yeah yeah i see it further and further it's like all sort of like every sort of shot it's like an inch interval yeah. in sort of like space isn't yeah it? yeah they'll just get further apart as you get down they are tens again i don't want anything too hairy fairy i still want to be quite positive yeah like it and what we've done on this one 
we had a six inch hook length on here, yeah. but there was a lot of fish in the peg and you get little indications, you're never sure what to strike at. So just pop a little four inch hook length on there, get that last shot closer to the hook, mm -hmm. just to magnify bites. And it's worked a treat to be fair. They've got, we've got some nice clean enders from that. Yeah, lovely. And oh, fishing's got better since yeah, then. Yeah, it's been well, brilliant. It? It's been brilliant. Again, 09. Mm -hmm. And then same hook. 18, and 18 is from Pellet. Can't go wrong, can you? Yeah, that's it. And then you've got your hook length on there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Covers your options, doesn't it? Jobs are good and yeah. Got to catch some more fish. All right. It's a nice surprise, this Mikey. Yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, have a look. oh my oh. word! Honestly, I think that's one of the biggest roads I've ever seen. It's lovely and easy. That's and it's easy. frozen, easy. Yeah, it's just so cold. It's just hard to catch, but that's a, joke. That's a lovely fish, that isn't it? Ridiculous. Four yeah, of the double pinkies as well, isn't it? Double pinkies on that strung up rig again. Oh. That's been the rig so far. It's been the Might boy. Change yet, but. That's the way to do it at the minute. Awesome fish. Beautiful that, isn't it? Lovely. I can get some pictures of that. Awesome. All good things come to an end, Mike. We do, unfortunately, boy. We do, unfortunately. But we'll end in a good way. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll end in a fish. It's a good fish, too, I think. Very good. Good skimmer. Just that dolly about past the feed, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've had a nice little run on the feed, and it's it's gone a little bit funny. So we've kept feeding the same spot, but just fishing past. Yeah. You no, know, literally, I don't know what's what's that dolly, but two and a half, three foot long. Must be. And just on the fish we've had off the back of the feed, the beanies quality ones just hanging off the back. See him? Look at the size of him. Probably the biggest of the day, that isn't it? Yeah, they're the ones you catch off the back of the feed. You just don't want to come over it sometimes. Mm. Just a little bit too much commotion from in there. Yeah. Around the feed. Look, let you take your time. Look at that. Yeah. That's a belt of fish yeah. to end, isn't it? Yeah, that's the end of that. End the day on. Look at that. Not bad on that absolutely freezing cold day. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good fish there. See, we're over a pound easy, isn't he? Over a pound, Brandon. You want to get those glasses checked all the time? Oh my one. word. That's a good fish there, isn't it? That is a cracking fish. Beautiful fish. Nice, yeah. just, we've like nurtured that line all day, haven't we? That's we've only it. really caught on one line. It's just been a case of feeding with a little part, feeding with a catapult, fishing on your feed, fishing past your feed, topping up, leaving it set. You've, done, you've had a busy day, Yeah, you? it's been good, it's been good. But like, for some reason, and you find a lot of venues, especially fishing for silverfish, one line will be, you'll catch most of your fish on one line, and you just want someone else to go, just so you can rest your original line. Oh, I like it. That's a good one, isn't it?